Hello and welcome. Uh, this is Android TV Boxes. I'm the Bear. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install um, the iStream components um, specifically for iWatch and the playlists available with the Zunity team. Um, there are a number of playlists out there at the moment which have got some amazing content. Uh, people are asking how do I set this up. So this is a Virgin install. This is version 13.1 of Gotham. Um, this is a Windows device but it doesn't matter which device you've got as long as you've got 13.1 or 12.3 this will work um, 12 later basically will work uh, anything lower than that it might not work um, so uh, we're going to get underway um, so for people that haven't done this before um, this is really simple take your time and it'll get set up really easy so the first thing we need to do is we need to add a source um, and by doing that if I go back to the menu and show you slow we go to system file manager on the left hand side we're going to double click add source and it's going to show us a pop up in here we're going to click on none twice and it's going to bring up a location for us to enter the location is http colon slash slash xfinity dot talk dot com now i will put this in the comment section in the details below not in the comment section uh, so that you can uh, review that but it's http colon slash slash xfinity dot zunity talk dot com uh, what we're then going to do is name it dot xu uh, the reason for dot xu is dot xu then becomes at the top of the list the dot basically puts it higher than anything else in the list once you've added it to the system you will get an error message if you've entered it incorrectly um, but if you want to double check that it exists just click on the directory uh, that we've created and you'll see here that it appears now you can see some zip files here do not click on these to install this is the wrong way of installing add-ons uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and actually install the add-ons now uh, so we go to system Go to add-ons, uh, get a first time warning message because this is a first vanilla install uh, and it's still doing a few updates. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do install from zip file, select .xu which is the Zunity Talk um, source that we've added. I'm then going to install the repository. Okay, Repository is going to install, it's now enabled, you can see here in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, I'm going to go to get add-ons, I'm going to open up the Zunity Talk repository I'm going to go to video add-ons and I'm going to scroll down their list of available add-ons and I'm going to click on iStream and I'm going to install it. Now if you were installing iStream for the first time and you, and you wanted to have the iStream enabled stream uh, skin, the best way to install this uh, would be to run the, I, the iStream Zunity installer. I've got to get my teeth out. Um, so <laughs> once that's done, um, what that's done is now installed um, a repository add-on um, for us so you can see here that iStream now exists on the system uh, and also YouTube uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up iStream uh, it's going to take a few seconds while it's creating its initial directories obviously this is again as I mentioned the first time uh, going to click on iWatch and this is going to bring up the iWatch system now iWatch is good for the playlists um, and playlists are basically uh, community lists of films or content that people have put together uh, for people to use so if you're familiar with things like NaviX um, you, you, you will have a basic understanding and a concept NaviX obviously shares content the iStream um, community list is also very is very similar it's, it's the same it's these guys inside the Zunity team that are collecting information putting it together and saying right I want people to watch these these, these are available so uh, inside this uh, menu system we're going to go to playlists now this opens up the playlist system um, and it's going to give us two options because we haven't installed a playlist yet um, and it's going to give me an online or a local playlist now I'm going to add an online playlist because I don't have the XML uh, required to build the playlist uh, if you had a local XML file you could point it to the local playlist and that would catalogue the information but we're going to go online and actually download the playlist uh, so the address is http colon slash slash xty dot me forward slash zunity talk that's going to add it's working away it's now going to give me a name I'm just going to click OK because uh, they've created this name in such a way that it appears with um, some colors and stuff like that as you can see it's now created and it's colored so uh, there is some formatting involved here that will allow you to to basically understand where you're going uh, and make it look different from every other menu. 
So now that we've added it, we've actually added now the Zunity playlist. So you can now start browsing the content and, and getting involved with the things that people are sharing. One of the playlists that we're massively involved in here at Android TV Boxes and over on XBMC, um, you know, the, it's getting some massive momentum right now, is Kizza 312's playlist. Um, so Kizza 312 is a guy from the UK um, who's involved in Zunity Talk. Um, I'm not sure what, to what degree, um, but he does hang around on some of the forums that I go on. He's also involved on the, uh, the Facebook group that we're in, which is XBMC Users. Um, and also XBMC UK, XBMC for noobs. Um, he has basically got together and built his own community playlist. Um, and he's put some amazing content. He spends a lot of time making it work. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to his playlist. Um, as you can see here, Kizza312. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add it as a shortcut. Um, now this would add it as a shortcut inside the Zunity Talk ice stream component. Um, it's not going to add it as a favorite to XBMC. Um, that is coming, guys. That will be here soon. So right click, or if you're on a uh, another device, press the C to bring up the context menu. Um, if you have an Android MX device with the stock um, remote, it's literally just press the blue menu button and it will bring up this uh, this icon for you, or this menu, as it were. Click on Add Playlist. I think I might have actually just done that to the wrong one. I have, but we'll add Jason anyway. We like Jason's content. Uh, he's also a guy on the uh, on the Facebook groups with us. You'll see here that playlist has been added, and it's signified by PL. What I'm going to do is now I'm just going to add Kizza because that's the one we really want. That's going to bring up a name uh, in a second. Uh, Kizza has a lot of colours in his name, so we're just going to click Done. Uh, as you can see, it's appeared, and it's now got loads of uh, red contact available. Again, PL has existed. Um, you can find this now when you actually open up uh, iStream um, and go into iWatch. So we start from the beginning. Uh, if you were uh, video add-ons and go to iStream, and then go into iWatch, playlists, it gets really tedious, I know, these menu systems. With the new version of um, iStream that's available from the Zunity Talk team, which is coming very soon, th that should sort of stream that, that down a little bit. There will be some search functionality. Hopefully, they'll address the issue with adding uh, playlists to the XBMC system itself as a favorite. You can get around that with super favorites, um, but I have no real experience of that at the moment, so I really need to get into it. Uh, as you can see, we've got the uh, the original menu system as before, the online and local playlists. We've now got our two added playlists, and also the Zunity Talk playlist directory. Uh, we're going to Kizza, and you can see here that Kizza's got a load of content. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's it. Pretty simple, really. Um, I mean, it literally takes a couple of minutes. So in effect, you need to add a source, go to System, get Add-ons, install the uh, iStream component, set it up, add the playlist jobs are good that's it uh, if you want to check out uh, us on facebook you can find us at uh, android tv boxes it's facebook.com forward slash android tv boxes that's b-o-x-e-s uh, you can also find kizzer's playlist at xbmc kizzer k-i-z-z-e-r 312 playlist on facebook um, and also come and say hi to us over at xbmc users uh, again Thank you very much for watching. Everything you need to know is in the section below. If you have any problems, leave a comment. We'll come back to you. Thanks a lot.